Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and I've just added a second free expansion to my turn-based strategy course. It's all about taking the game built in the course and any support for multiple floors. With this addition, you can make much more complex levels with some interesting vertical layouts. This was the second most requested topic by students. The first free expansion is already out, and that one was on adding hex grids. This second multi-floors expansion works on both grid types, so you can add it to either square or hexes. In these nine lectures, we will refactor a bunch of code to support not just one, but multiple grid systems at different elevations. Thanks to the quality of the code, this change is actually pretty simple. The more complex part is on handling the pathfinding, but even that is just a basic refactor. We're going to modify it to enable the units to move between the grids, but we also don't want to make them move in any position, so we're going to handle creating some pathfinding links. And we're even going to make a nice and simple editor script to make those links easier to create. Then we're going to handle the visuals, make it so that we can add whatever visual we want when the unit is going up or down. Now I'm not an animator, so I went with a super basic jump and drop, but you could very easily replace it with a proper leather climb animation without changing any of the code. And finally, we're going to set up some visible logic so we can zoom in the camera and have the objects hide themselves, so we can still play with all the floors underneath. With all that, we're going to have another really awesome feature added to this already awesome turn-based strategy game. And once again, thanks to how all the code in the course is written in a nice clean way, this is going to be a super easy addition, just like the hex suspension. We don't need to touch the AI, the visuals, the unit action system, or anything like that. Because all the code is really clean with as few dependencies as possible, this addition doesn't really require changing many files. So this expansion is yet another great example of the power of writing good clean code. Now, if you already own the course, then this is a free expansion, so you already have access to it. It's at the end of all the lectures, right after the Hex expansion. And if you don't yet own the course, you can get it with a link in the description. It's a really awesome course that will help you take your skills from beginner to advanced. The reviews have been extremely positive, so I'm really happy with how it came out. Throughout the whole course, I'm constantly talking about writing good clean code and focusing on keeping a good code architecture. Because of that, the final state of the course is very adaptable and easily expandable. So do let me know what other mechanics and systems you'd like to see in future expansions. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this second free expansion, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.